Another day, another drama. Hi guys, it's Sebastian Williams and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, in today's episode of Keeping Up With The Beauty Gurus, we have Miss Jeffree Star. He's back on my channel. He hasn't been in drama in quite some bit, but recently in the last like week, he's been in a lot of drama. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. So the first drama that Jeffree Star was in this week was when he actually talked about James Charles. Now I think we're all aware of the drama that happened last year between Jeffree Star and James Charles, but he recently tweeted out something in favor of James Charles, which everyone was super, super confusing about. James Charles did a collaboration with Charlie D'Amelio, who is the biggest TikTok star at the moment, and basically he did her makeup and both Charlie's and James's video were trending. Now, James Charles's video was number one on trending and Charlie D'Amelio was number three on trending. Now, you never guess who was on number two on trending. It was Miss Jeffree Star, and he decided to actually quote tweet Charlie D'Amelio and say, um, you look so gorgeous. James killed it per usual. Kind of weirded out, right? Like, Jeffrey said he banned him from his house, and now you're like, James killed it per usual, like, what is going on? And, and a lot of people seem to be super confused about this too. Weren't you just against James Charles? I swear people switch up so easily. Weren't you and Tati trying to destroy his career a year ago? I'm very confused. Now, the reason why so many people were actually weirded out about this was because Jeffree Star just tweeted about Kesha Rose, who associated with James Charles, and basically Kesha Rose started her own cosmetics line and collaborated with James Charles. Now, Jeffree Star tweeted out, Okay, I love Kesha's music, so I can't wait to see what the packaging looks like, in response to her makeup announcement. So after he found out that Kesha Rose was going to collaborate with James Charles, he deleted this tweet and has since never even talked about her makeup line. He hasn't reviewed it, he hasn't talked about it, and actually he didn't follow her, which is kind of interesting because he actually was in her music video all the way back in like 2010 or something. So just because she associated with James Charles, he deleted his tweet that said that he loved her, he actually completely completely disassociated with her. So just a few months ago, he was shading people that were associating with him, and now he's actually praising James Charles, which seems really, really weird. Now, the next drama that Jeffree Star was in this week was when a user on Twitter actually posted a video. We're gonna take a look because it's not true, so... OMG, I can't believe Jeffrey would call me a dark person and say that dark people are sick. Like, OMG, this is so hurtful. And attached is a video of Jeffree Star allegedly saying that dark people are sick. Well, this is actually fully taken out of context. And dark people are sick! Like now, I do want to quickly come forward that this video is actually false and fabricated. Just like Taylor Swift and <laughs> Kim Kardashian, girl, we got a Kim Kardashian situation right here. Someone cut him off really fast. And this is the actual Snapchat that was cut out find people that actually don't me that don't like me are trying to use my hashtag surpass my subscribers with attention and try to get money from me but you don't with me you don't like me you talk about me you don't support me but you want to you want to take my money like this shit is so f and dark people are sick like there are people that really can't even afford to eat food there's people that really can't even like afford to get a bottle of water so listen we really got a kim kardashian taylor swift situation right here if if you guys want me to make a video on the taylor swift and kim kardashian situation i'll totally be able to do it just let me know if you want it but now on to the real drama of the day so jeffree star uploaded the video eight months ago with nathan his ex-boyfriend of course they broke up we all know that they broke up which is very sad of course but they did basically jeffree star posted a video saying surprising my boyfriend with his dream car this video did very well, got 12 million views. It was a nice car that Jeffree Star bought for his boyfriend. And apparently there was something going on. So, so someone noticed that he had changed his video saying, pretending to surprise my ex-boyfriend with his dream car. So he changed the video to pretending to surprise. And he actually wrote a new description saying, Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Since my breakup with Nathan, I've been asked a hundred times what happened with this car since uploading this video. The car was always mine and in my name. I paid for it and I always dreamed of owning an Aston Martin for watching James Bond 007 movies as a kid. We did this video to create content and do something fun, but sadly this was us acting and was not a real genuine surprise, lol.
and apparently Nathan actually has a new girlfriend and this was exposed by a drama investigator and she basically had this to say. So there's this chick called Leah Nelson and Nathan had liked this pic. On the same day, Nathan had posted this pic to his Instagram, the exact same spot, the exact same date, and she had also liked the photo as well. So could it be that Jeffree Star is actually jealous of Nathan's new relationship that he moved on so fast and decided to be shady and change the title? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Keeping Up With The Beauty Gurus. Thank you so much and bye guys.